Hello everyone, this is going to be a quick flip through of a my newest swap. It was a dollar store planner, uh, I guess decoration, um, and I put in a little bonus as usual. So starting with the planner, she had requested black, pink, neon colors, um, stripes, polka dots. So I um, went with her specifications and what she likes. So this is the dollar store planner that I purchased and upgraded a little bit. I put this little cardstock in here just to cover it up. Um, I spray painted it black. It was um, kind of like pastel-y, but I liked that it was solid and structured, so I grabbed it. I put these little post-it tabs on each um, month and I made this bookmark out of some ribbon polka dots and a little skull charm that I already had with the little heart eyes and there's a white safety pin on the back. I thought it was kind of fun to have a white safety pin. And I put in a paper clip with some ribbon to use as bookmarks. A couple of journaling cards. Oh, she loves journaling cards. She gave me like five sentences in her paragraph were about how much she loves journaling. So I have a couple of extra clips in here. I put her some extra neon color tabs, which she can do whatever she wants with. I made a little pocket here out of an extra page and a couple more little journaling cards that I didn't make these but I had them so put them in there and then I made this little design with a bunch of those tabs I was kind of disappointed because I got them at the Dollar Tree and I thought they were going to be a little bit brighter and they kind of become see-through once you put them on something if you can tell this part in the middle here is so see-through so it, it kind of worked out nicely though because then the parts that are layered look kind of cool. So I did that and that is what's required of the swap. But I'm including some extras and this is a mini envelope that comes in a printable from Tsunami Rose and it's the Polished Lackluster Journaling Kit. So I got her a bunch more little journaling cards printed out from there, um, some quotes, and I think she'll like that. And since she likes journaling, even though this doesn't seem like it will be her style, I wanted to make one and I printed out my polish lackluster at 50% on accident. So it was I printed it way too small. So I figured, okay, I'll make a tiny little bonus for her. And um, I cut out one of the pages. I cut one of the pages in half to um, make into a cover. And then it opens to a couple of the printables that I had printed too small before I noticed. So at least I'm getting use out of them. And then some tea stained paper. This might be coffee stained, but these little pages were made out of a um, a three pack of Dollar Tree paper pads. And when I opened them, the paper was a little thin and wonky, and it wouldn't even stick together on the top of the of the pad. So I just ripped them apart and tea stained them all, baked them, and um, somehow after. After staining and baking them, like the paper has a little bit more structure now, so I actually like it better that way. And all these pages that printed out way too tiny, I'm just sticking in here. So I made a couple of the signatures out of those pages. Um, instead of cutting them apart, I just folded them in half. This ended up being so adorable, tiny little envelope, even though it's not meant to be that small. So I sewed that into the signature, and that's it. It's just a cute little book. Hopefully she will enjoy journaling in it, even though 
it seems like she's more of a modern type of girl. I think she might like this. So I still kept her neon bright colors and all those little quotes that she wanted in journaling areas. I put her initials here and that's about it. Hopefully she likes it. There's the back. The back was just the other side of the same page. So that's adorable.